Welcome to Super Spears Brothers! You can- You, you can- ah! I am Blaine. I am, uh, Blayden? Graydon? I'm Graydon. Don't call me Graydon. If you call me Graydon, I will punch you. The, uh, Good versus evil. Quality versus shit. Me against Blake. <laughs> Figure it out. And, of course, as usual, the master drive, the evil computer in space, um, has determined which games we're gonna play. We don't know what they are until yep. we get started. Alright, me first, me first, me first! Brendan, your game is Tell Lucky Steam okay. Edition. Go oh, awesome! 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 I'm 100% okay with this. Alright. I've s spent hundreds and hundreds of hours on this game, so it all works out. What do you like, lose your magic cube of wait, destiny? Wait, wait. Like, what was the- did you find the- I found the cube! Ah! Oh. Hey, Alright, so, Master Drive, let me know what it is that I have to show. Play uh, your game is the binding of Isaac Rebirth. No, 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 that's another game I really like. You know what, I didn't like it at all! <laughs> really? I've never really gave it a fair shake, so I'm gonna go shake, 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 senora. Shake your body line. Play and comply. Hey, Edward. Go, go away. Play, uh, we're playing this on a PC. Yeah, what do you know? You know it's a Steam game. <laughs> it's steamy. All right. All right. I, I've only played this a couple times. Yeah. And but somehow since the last time I played, I've gotten much longer hair. Yeah. Mm. And I need to. Don't. No, Blake. I'm in the middle of a game. Don't continue. Mm. Yep. Alright, here we are. You're in the middle of a boss! Okay, so I have, I've unlocked all the characters, I think. Um, alright, I want somebody with, let's see. Pipe goes random, goes random, goes random. Okay. Oh, yeah. Unless you get Magdalene. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> Magdalene. Do, do. Oh, I got Lazarus. Basic thing, go in the gold door. That okay. get your item. Oh, and that, yay! Book of Sin. You got a reusable item generator, so now when you use your special, whatever it is, whatever button is special. Oh wait, this is this is a twin stick, isn't it? I yeah. Forgot. And you don't really need to do anything else other than... There's uh, bombs and keys and... Ooh, you got a dime? Jesus. <laughs> I got a dime! Uh, there's a button that uses... Jesus. There's a button that uses uh, pills and one that uses your special item. Jesus, I got a dime. Well, I'm sorry, this has nothing to do with me. You, yeah. can, you can try pressing buttons to see which one it is, so I stop going crazy wondering which button it does what. Oh. I think they're the, the, uh, the trigger buttons, I think we set them to. Okay, so that's pills, whatever button that was. <laughs> and there we go. Oh wow, that was useful. Okay, now you can do it again, because you grabbed the battery, which recharged your item all the way. And you got another one! Okay, do it again. <laughs> Dude, I think we've hacked the game. <laughs> okay, you got a bomb, cool. What's the button? Is a trigger button for a bomb? Left trigger, probably? One of them? <laughs> well, we'll find out. We'll find out! On the next episode, oh wait a minute, uh, 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 uh. Okay, so, um, key, okay. hi, I love you, in a very sexual manner. <laughs> is, uh, is, like, the night I never got into was, I'm not really big on the, on the, like, I wanted to play a Zelda-style game, and that's yeah. what I felt like I was sold, but the Which game is, doesn't play much like a Zelda game. It's it feels, not, a, it has feel, sort of a Zelda aesthetic thing going with the level shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, if you put a bomb in between those piles of rocks, like right in the middle there, like right there, yeah. Uh, you you could get a bomb and a key, so not not there. I see. I did exactly the wrong thing. Oh, yeah, but it still worked. It still worked. Maybe doing the wrong thing doesn't matter. Can I? Oh, yeah, and you, and I could put a bomb here to get rid of that rock. You could if you want to, but just so kind of a gamble. Ah, but this gamble will pay off. Oh look, you got a bomb back. So you got two <laughs> coins out of that. I got Good. my bomb back. Don't use that. Quit playing games with my heart. Oh, stop! My right. heart. Oh God. <laughs> Oh, what are you doing, you horrible monsters? Red. <laughs> ah, no eyes. Hello, no eyes. No, they have eyes. They're just they're just bleeding sockets where their eyes used to be. They're still eyes. Now wait a minute, wait a minute. You've clearly stated that they are not. Eyes. No, no, they are eyes. They're just bleeding socket eyes. Isaac, after all. <laughs> the binding of Isaac. Of Isaacs. Isaac. This never was unusually Oh my long. goodness! There could be a there could have been a series in the mid '90s called um, Isaac Z A C K. Oh totally. Zach was the '90s '90s. Can I, can I walk to those? Yeah, they slow you down when you move in. Uh, Zach, Zach, I think. Oh, is you the, can you can use your thing to get. Shut it. up! Zach is the '90s '90s uh, uh, name. Name. Finally. Uh, there you go. We're poop. We're poop. This game is literally shit. I do like. Um, oh, we got another dime. What the fuck is with your luck? I didn't mean to spell. I apologize <laughs> to all the children. No, 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 no. You just wanted to have something that could be remixed. What, what the, the fuck is up with your luck? What? Just the sound of my my controller for some reason. Um, 
Sounds a little bit like that that song. Oh. The Italian song that's supposed to be English. Oh. Okay, one, no. Two, that's a random... <laughs> Cut to the sea! Da 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 It's the haunt. Could you solve my rather large tooth issue? I have a tooth. This is a very slow but difficult boss. Or at least have to kill that thing. You don't have. Oh, you don't have to kill the boss. Oh, yeah, you do after you kill his little baby. Boss. Oh, I thought you had to hit him, and I was just trying. I was not trying to kill the baby. They're like, ah, oh, they're just. They're like the thing in Zelda, right? Which, which just the heads float around, and you kind of ignore them because the boss is what you want to aim, aim for. No, because then when you kill this guy, which I thought you were just about to do, because I phrased my sentence that way. Thanks, game, for proving me wrong. There you go. And he goes like that, rips his face off, <laughs> and now we're gonna start vomiting blood at you. That's not vomiting blood. That's like some sort of blood jack blood blood jectile. Yeah, there you go. Okay, that's right. there you go. Yeah, that's vomiting. That's blood. vomiting blood. Now that's what we in the family call <laughs> vomiting Sicilian blood. Don't. It's not why I sit down there. Oh, I see why. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that you can walk and shoot in different directions. Like. I'm trying with the I'm trying I'm trying to <laughs> press the button, but the my, my I don't know like it's not doing diagonals. No, it doesn't do diagonals. Oh well, that's why I keep thinking that I'm <laughs> I'm trying to shoot diagonal and failing, but in fact I'm not. Well, you so, are. So but... so this is actually a very easy boss at this point. I just have to. Well, you only have one health left. You now I want to use your item. Uh, how do I do that? One buttons. Not that one. Not that one. Can you use? There you go. Yeah, you grab the heart. Grab it. Yeah. Okay, now okay, well, okay, uh, there you, you go. You that, was, that. that was a short-lived, short-lived adventure. Now that I've learned that you can't shoot diagonally, like I wasn't paying enough attention <laughs> to realize I wasn't shooting diagonally. <laughs> I, I was missing a lot. You got that thing that does damage with good silk coins. Oh, I don't want to do that. It's worth it once, because if you hit these things enough, you, they sometimes drop hearts. Seems tedious. Don't, don't, don't grab the enemy. Oh, I didn't even realize that was an enemy. Oh, okay, sorry. This room is so so highly lit up. So what do I? Am I just spending money to get nothing? Is that kind of? Oh uh, well, mean? if you there's also the guy in the center. It's a shell game, except you it, you can't actually watch it because it goes too fast. Well, it's obviously this one though. Uh, that's not the one I chose. Daddy's love. I don't know what that does. Oh, that, this thing's amazing. It summons this little shadow, and then if it hits an enemy, it stomps them. Oh, okay. Yeah. So do I use it by pressing a button or is no, it just No, it just auto-activates. It will hunt down enemies. See? And then boom. Rainbow poops heal you. I, that's what I needed. I needed some, some healing poop. <laughs> some sweet, sweet healing poop. Oh, I thought that was like a boss enemy until I until, until I remembered back. I had a very brief flashback inside my head. I was like, <laughs> remember. I don't know why you were saying... You, weren't, you clearly weren't saying that in the, in the in ah! reality. Remember. The daddy long legs will come and crush your enemies. <laughs> Crush your enemies. Ah, it's a daddy long leg. It's gonna crush me. <laughs> I should really pay attention to my flashbacks. <laughs> That's exactly the opposite of what of what old Hobo Joe used to say. Oh, what old Hobo Joe used to say? Don't listen to what I have to say. <laughs> He's the only person no. whose advice I ever took. Uh, Brendan, that was Lavar Burton. He was, oh, sorry. <laughs> you were watching Green Big Rainbow. Don't listen to what I have to say. I'm Lavar Burton. <laughs> yes, Chef Brady. Hey, you know what? That sounds just like him. It does, doesn't it? Um, um, butterfly in the sky. How can a flash try? <laughs> Take a look in a hook. Green Rainbow. What are your guys' special ability? Is he comes back to life with one health when he dies. Well, that's so, fun. Can it, does uh, it happen in limited times? Only once. And now you're kind of cornered and you're fucked. <laughs> Hooray! Oh my goodness. Let's -a go. Seriously, somebody showed up to our house at the exact second I finished my spiel. Feels weird. Hello, everybody. We're about to get into some of this spelunky. So, um, who should I be? Oh, be 16. I can't be 16. Be, uh, be, I'm be her. Okay. I was gonna say be be, be the be. guy who be the like racist character caricature from um Annie. <laughs> that guy. Whoa. Yes, Annie. We'll be getting bring you. I don't say any words in this except probably one thing. <laughs> I'm clearly a white guy. 
You picked up a a journal. Press tab to open it. I'm going into a cave. I'll yeah, probably yeah, die. Yeah, I'm gonna go stab some also, snakes. He looks kind of like a racist. Oh, it is the tutorial. Oh, I see. I have to bomb this. It's trying to teach me, but I don't want to learn. Nobody likes learning. Learning's for them rich folk. Only them rich folk have got that time to learn. We are too busy stabbing goats. <laughs> We're too busy making love to pencils. Because that's what the rich do. It's the shit that makes no sense at all <laughs> for no reason. They just got the money, they got the time, they got nothing to worry about, and they're also made out of semen. Centipedes? Cent centipedes. The rich are made out of centipedes. You heard it here, folks, first. Hey, hey everybody. Buddy, I have got a, a really serious situation. Rich people, they're not just bad and rich. They're made of centipedes. They're crawling out of your mouth. I don't know why I have... Oh no, I, I died. I don't know why when I think of like centipedes, I automatically think of them climbing, crawling out of your mouth. I mean, not my mouth. But out of mouths in general? No, specifically your mouth. Specifically my mouth? I don't know why I always think of centipedes cr climbing out of your mouth. Oh, I know why. Remember that time in 8th grade, I stuffed your face full of centipedes? Oh yeah, that's right. That was hot. Have you ever met a dick who wasn't an asshole? <laughs> that question is impossible to answer <laughs> in the land of comedy. That picks one. Okay. Oh my god, it's magic! I believe in magic! It's magic. Ooh, it's magic. I like how this cuss is Vaguely out. Aztec or Maya thing. That snake is eating his own tail. What is he? Some sort of damn Aroboros? Goddamn Aroboros. This is actually the series that we first started gaming with. And the question I asked Brendan at the time was, so Brendan, why do you like this game? <laughs> um, if you never saw those episodes, which would be very likely. Because we erased most of them. We because them. they were terrible. <laughs> but, um, for some reason Blake thought it was hilarious that, oh. To stab a girl in the dick. That's... Oh no, I want My to... My girl dick feels itchy. <laughs> because you have your period. Nope, it's because I got stabbed. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Period. Because I got punctuated. Bingo! <laughs> Nailed it! Pun, 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 pun. Nailed it. Just like Jesus's killers. Yeah. Hey, hey. hey I'll save you, puppy. <laughs> Puppy's clearly dead. No, he's alive. He's alive. He's fine. <laughs> Just hurl the corpse. Yay. No, oh, I got a parachute. Look at that. The one thing I'll say that, that, that I do like about Binding of Isaac over this one, not the only thing, of course, because I'll have huge numbers of really well thought out arguments, um, is that it's, it, this game is a bit samey very quickly. Like, there's mm -hmm. some, there's about three different levels or so. Yeah, well, there's four. There's, there's four levels. I've, I've only seen three, so all three, yeah. only three count. <laughs> but, but there, you know, there's like, there's three levels or so, but, and everything is randomly generated, and there's a, but there's not that much going on in any level. You know that I mean? nearly went very badly. It's fun to play, but you know what I mean? Like, there's not a huge variety of enemies. Yeah. There's a huge variety of, like, gameplay styles. Mm -hmm. Like, Binding of Isaac has, has bosses, and there's like, is there, there's like a boss in this, but like... Yeah, there's one boss in the van. One boss, yeah. And then there's... Oh, my God. The, I, and the most creative part of any of, a, of any game is, is the level design and the bosses. I think we can agree. And No, but okay. <laughs> but but this game ha doesn't have like really level design. It has like segment design. Yeah. But it, like this game is more about the experience of playing it and not so much about mastering it. Well, no, it's about mastering. It's about mastering the gameplay more than anything else. Yeah, was... mastering the gameplay rather than mastering like any one level or segment. Yeah, exactly. Because each enemy is like a different little mini thing going on. Yeah, and they all have their own kind of like mechanics. Mm -hmm. Ah, ah. Hello. Ah, I'm a not, spider. Did not go according to plan. I'm a I'm a very well-to-do spider. Ah, ah, ah. You are my next meal. Ah, I'm the she ah, of ah, this place. Oh. Don't mention no. Shelob in front of spiders, actually. we She's really overrated among spiders. The sp spiders really think that Shelob's quite overrated. She, she sought out, man. She was really big, and then she sought out. She sought out here to become popular, man. I like, it's not fair. Oh, a mine. What? This is a mine. That's what they call it. Yeah, it's a mine. So they like, called it a mine. They call it a... I don't... Show the clip. They call it a mine. A mine. Oh, I get it. All right, you I haven't made. 
Vote, 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 vote. This, that game had farting, this game had farting. I don't think that's I'm seeing really... a lot of thematic links I here. don't know if farting is quite the right choice for this. Wait, isn't this what happens when you fart? Everybody, everybody. Everybody in the club being farting. Everybody in the club is farting. <laughs> <laughs> the club smells really bad, but that's okay, they normally do anyway. That's the problem with nightclubs. Yeah. Sweaty people bumping into each other. Sweaty people bumping into sweaty each other. People mm, sweaty bumping people bumping into each other. Sweaty people. Oh, it's dark now. Now that you literally want us to die in a fire, ah! 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 or be ripped apart by spiders, I think in the vanilla version of this game, it was easier to tell those were scarabs. Yeah. Now it's like, let's put more graphics let's on Let's make top. it more art. Let's, let's, ah. let's put some more graphics on top of these graphics. People have been complaining they're... They're piling graphics on top of graphics. Eventually, there'll be super graphics. I'm not going to get to the Golden Temple. I'm just going to play for fun. Like you're supposed to do with video games. Bye-bye, Trust. All right, so uh, we uh, we d we delved into... Um, uh, what? what did they do? Wh whatever this is. I, I did something I don't know what it was. I think I gave him my bombs. Wait, let me die in a dramatic way. There you go. <laughs> that wasn't what I wanted to do, but okay! So, that's Spelunky yeah, a little bit. So now we gotta go uh, figure out Binding of Isaac versus Spelunky. Uh, bosses versus colors. Which <laughs> basically it. I could watch this frog hop around my corpse all day. I'm just gonna put that up there. Hello, everyone. Mm. Welcome to... We've just done the gameplay, and... We're here with our friend, Swashbuckling Sir. Uh, Greetings, everyone. Greetings, Super Spears. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Hello, Swashbuckling Sir. Um, we're going to be giving Swashbuckling Sir our two minutes of argument, at which point Swashbuckling Sir will provide his answer. Who wins, and who in the long run will die? Probably even if I win, I'll die, because I've lost so many of these. <laughs> All right, so you want to jump in? All right, all right, all right. Let's jump in with Spelunky. Okay, so Spelunky is like a pure roguelike. It's slightly more complicated because it mixes it with the idea of a platformer, which is such a simple idea, but it does it so well. Um, the quick death turnaround makes the fact that the game is incredibly hard actually fun. It's not frustrating or annoying because at most you lose 15 minutes of game time. Um, so you die and you can go back in and start right away. It's really quick, really fast, and death has that sort of sense of imminent danger, but without getting annoying. Um, it's also when you die, often hilarious. Because the way the camera stays on your body as you get flung around, when you die, crazy stuff goes on. You kill enemies and go flying, and you kill innocent women and stuff like that. It's wonderful. It's unfair and hard, but in that way that is actually really rewarding. In sort of that old school, roguelike, platformy kind of way. Um, and also I like the fact that you have these small little bits of customization, like you can have different characters and yeah. you can make it so no, you're saving no, no, buff dudes wait, or puppies wait, instead wait, of ladies. Wait, wait, I like wait, it! Wait, I like wait, it so wait, much! Wait, 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 okay, okay, you know what? Binding of Isaac is also a great game. They're very similar in that, um, um they're both sort of, um, randomly generated. Uh, Binding of Isaac has a longer storyline, uh, it also has, um, the save file, so you really feel like you're making progress. It's it's about character and atmosphere and poop jokes. It's got a lot more of that sort of um, sensibility to it. So if you like that style, it's really going to be the stronger game for you. Um, like Spelunky, it's got that random generation, but it's got better bosses, I think. It's got a lot more strategy in that level, and there's a lot of depth to the gameplay in that you can have these stackable items that build up your abilities as you go through the game. It does have a bit of that Zelda feel where you, you continually are, uh, graphically it looks a little Zelda-y, but it also, you're continually learning how to use your items and using them in different ways. There's these weird synergies uh, developed that way. It's got these new abilities, it's a lot of fun to play, um, and everybody loves a twin stick shooter. So, uh, that's my arguments uh, for... That's that's all arguments. That's my arguments. <laughs> Stop taking credit for my hard work, damn it. That's my arguments for why Spelunky is a better game. Um, <laughs> so, swashbuckling, sir, using your um, objectivity as an object. Um, just remember that um, I give good head. This is going to be a challenge. First, let me comment on your arguments. The Binding of Isaac is not necessarily strategy. It is more of a, you're given the items you're given, and you just bloody well deal with it. Yes. The Binding of Isaac is more of a learning experience. You learn the room layouts, you learn the enemy behaviors, and then you just stick to the patterns you have learned previously. As for Spelunky, on the other hand, 
you don't just lose 15 minutes of game time. There have been runs where you lose hours of game. Hours. And it is... It hurts. It hurts physically in my heart. The Binding of Isaac Rebirth surely has a rather unique style to it, because Edmund McMillan obviously has his style he puts into the game, similar to Gish or similar to, to Super Meat Boy beforehand. So it is rather pretty if you like this wacky art style of his. Spelunky, on the other hand, has rather mundane textures. You have earth, you have some jungle greens in between, but they are varied and they are actually quite pretty if you are into the pixel art style, obviously. So, Which is the better game? Okay, in terms of Isaac Rebirth, every run starts always the same. The first few minutes of a run always feel incredibly similar. If you have played hundreds of hours of Isaac, you will hate the first 5 to 10 minutes of every run. Because, you know, Isaac takes a while to get rolling, to push the stone over the first initial hill, and then when the item combinations, which are truly unique, there are thousands of them, but this first initial step is what Spelunky does better. In Spelunky, when you start a new run, even though you always have the same equipment, due to the level being totally unique and the challenge you are facing is always kind of different, Spelunky manages to engage the player more in an earlier time point. So Rebirth is more expansive, has more variety after a certain time point once you push the rock over the first hurdle, you got a few items, the run gets interesting, you have loads of challenge, it's also fun for beginners to jump into. The Binding of Isaac Rebirth is the better yes. game God damn it. on its own. However, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, oh, <laughs> Spelunky currently got the level editor. Now it not only has the content, it comes with it, so that the, not just the content, it comes with the game, so the procedure generated and the competitive daily challenge stuff. No, it also has timed elements, puzzles, all the other kinds of fancy shit that blows your mind. Spelunky is amazing, and Spelunky wins. I mean, I'm wait, sorry, yeah! you don't. Woo! So I get confused sometimes because I assume that everyone goes for you. Because I'm you thank you <laughs> for listening to my gibberish talking about these two games. I genuinely love both Thanks games. Thanks uh, Swashbuckler, I think you picked the right choice. It's they are both amazing. Decision. I've played over 100 hours each of them. It's it's amazing. Just spend the money on those games. Indies are great. Well, you know what? I'm a little bit disappointed by that because... I'm not! <laughs> but, uh, but, it, but thanks a lot, Swashbuckling, sir. I think that's a um, wrong but fair answer. It's a very valid decision you made. Um, so, uh, what do you guys think? Did we uh, get the right arguments? Was there anything we might have missed? Or did we even get the right verdict? Or are there two games you would like to see head-to-head? -head? If you uh, have any of those suggestions or any of those ideas, please let us know in the comments, Facebook, uh, Twitter, Twitter, Instagram, and uh, Pornhub. And if you don't like, comment, and subscribe, I will murder a puppy. Yeah, you have one right here. A very bad photoshopping of a puppy you did right here. Is it fair to include a mod which came afterwards? 